Shemot, Exodus, chapter 6. Then Yahweh said unto Moshe, Now shall you see what I will do to Pharaoh, for with a strong hand shall he let them go, and with a strong hand shall he drive them out of his land. And Elohim spoke unto Moshe, and said unto him, I am Yahuwah, and I appeared unto El Avraham, unto El Yitzhak, and unto El Yaakov, by El Shaddai. But by my name Yahuwah was I not known to them, and I have also established my covenant with them to give them the land of Canaan, the land of their pilgrimage, wherein they were strangers. And I have also heard the groanings of the children of Yasharel, whom the Mitzrayim keep in bondage, and I have remembered my covenant. Wherefore say unto the children of Yasharel, I am Yahuwah, and I will bring you out from under the burdens of the Mitzrayim, and I will rid you out of their bondage, and I will redeem you with a stretched out arm and with great judgments. And I will take you to me for a people, and I will be to you Elohim. And ye shall know that I am Yahuwah Elohikim, which brings you out from under the burdens of the Mitzrayim. And I will bring you into the land concerning the which I did swear to give it to Avraham, to Yitzhak, and to Yaakov. And I will give it to you for a heritage. I am Yahuwah. And Moshe spoke so unto the children of Yashrael, but they hearkened not unto Moshe for anguish of the Ruach and for cruel bondage. And Yahuwah spoke unto Moshe, saying, Go in, speak unto Pharaoh, king of Mitzrayim, that he let the children of Yasharel go out of his land. And Moshe spoke before Yahuwah, saying, Behold, the children of Yasharel have not hearkened unto me. How then shall Pharaoh hear me, who am of uncircumcised lips? And Yahuwah spoke unto El Moshe and unto El Ahron, and gave them a charge unto the children of Yashrael and unto Pharaoh king of Mitzrayim to bring the children of Yashrael out of the land of Mitzrayim. These be the heads of their father's houses, the sons of Reuben, the firstborn of Yasharel, Chanok, and Palu, and Chetzron, and Karmai. These be the families of Reuben. And the sons of Shimon, Yemuel, and Yamin, and Ochad, and Yakin, and Sochar, and Shaul, the son of the Canaanite woman. These are the families of Shimon. And these are the names of the sons of Levi, according to their generations, Gershon, and Kohath, and Merari. And the years of the life of Levi were 137 years. The sons of Gershon, Livni, and Shimei, according to their families. And the sons of Kohath, Amram, and Yitzhar, and Hebron, and Uziel, and the years of the life of Kohath were a hundred and thirty and three years. And the sons of Merari, Machli, and Mushi, these are the families of Levi, according to their generations. And Amram took Jochebed, his father's sister, to be his woman. And she bore him Ahron and Moshe. And the years of the life of Amram were a hundred and thirty and seven years. And the sons of Yitzhar, Korach, and Nepheg, and Zikrai, and the sons of Uziel, Mishael, and Elishaphan, and Chitrai. And Ahron took him Elishaba, daughter of Amminadab, sister of Nachshon, to be his woman. And she bore him Nadab, and Abihu, and Eleazar, and Ithamar. And the sons of Korach, Asir, Elkanah, Avisaph, these are the families of the Korchai. And Eleazar, Ahron's son, took him one of the daughters of Putiel to be his woman, and she bore him Phinehas. These are the heads of the fathers of the Leviim, according to their families. These are that Ahron and Moshe, to whom Yahuwah said, Bring out the children of Yashrael from the land of Mitzrayim, according to their families. These are they which spoke to Pharaoh, king of Mitzrayim, to bring out the children of Yashrael from Mitzrayim. These are that Moshe and Aharon. And it came to pass on the day when Yahweh spoke unto Moshe in the land of Mitzrayim, that Yahweh spoke unto Moshe, saying, I am Yahuwah. Speak you unto Pharaoh king of Mitzrayim, all that I say unto you. And Moshe said before Yahuwah, Behold, I am of uncircumcised lips. How shall Pharaoh hearken unto me? Shemot, 
Exodus chapter 7. And Yahweh said unto Moshe, See, I have made you an Elohim to Pharaoh, and Aharon your brother shall be your prophet. You shall speak all that I command you, and Aharon your brother shall speak unto Pharaoh that he send the children of Yasharel out of his land. And I will harden Pharaoh's heart and multiply my signs and my wonders in the land of Mitzrayim. But Pharaoh shall not hearken unto you, that I may lay my hand upon Mitzrayim, and bring forth my armies and my people, the children of Yasharel, out of the land of Mitzrayim by great judgments. And the Mitzrayim shall know that I am Yahuwah, when I stretch forth my hand upon the Mitzrayim, and bring out the children of Yasharel from among them. And Moshe and Aharon did as Yahuwah commanded them. So did they. And Moshe was fourscore years old, and Aharon fourscore and three years old, when they spoke unto Pharaoh. And Yahuwah spoke unto El Moshe, and unto El Aharon, saying, When Pharaoh shall speak unto you, saying, Show a miracle for you, then you shall say unto El Aharon, Take your rod, and cast it before Pharaoh, and it shall become a serpent. And Moshe and Aharon went in unto Pharaoh, and they did so as Yahuwah had commanded. And Aharon cast down his rod before Pharaoh and before his servants, and it became a serpent. Then Pharaoh also called the wise men and the sorcerers, now the magicians of Mitzrayim. They also did in like manner with their enchantments, for they cast down every man his rod, and they became serpents. But Aharon's rod swallowed up their rods, and he hardened Pharaoh's heart, that he hearkened not unto them, as Yahweh had said. And Yahweh said unto Moshe, Pharaoh's heart is hardened. He refuses to let the people go. Get you unto Pharaoh in the morning. Lo, he goes out unto the water. You shall stand by the river's brink, against he come. And the rod which was turned to a serpent shall you take in your hand. And you shall say unto him, Yahuwah Elohai of the Evrim has sent me unto you, saying, Let my people go, that they may serve me in the wilderness. And behold, hitherto you would not hear. Thus says Yahuwah, In this you shall know that I am Yahuwah. Behold, I will smite with the rod that is in my hand upon the waters which are in the river, and they shall be turned to blood. And the fish that is in the river shall die, and the river shall stink, and the Mitzrayim shall loathe the drink of the water of the river. And Yahuwah said unto Moshe, Say unto Aharon, Take your rod, and stretch out your hand upon the waters of Mitzrayim, upon their streams, upon their rivers, and upon their ponds, and upon all their pools of water, that they may become blood, and that there may be blood throughout all the land of Mitzrayim, both in vessels of wood and in vessels of stone. And Moshe and Aharon did so, as Yahuwah commanded. And he lifted up the rod, and smote the waters that were in the river, in the sight of Pharaoh, and in the sight of his servants. And all the waters that were in the river were turned to blood. And the fish that was in the river died. And the river stank. And the Mitzrayim could not drink of the water of the river. And there was blood throughout all the land of Mitzrayim. And the magicians of Mitzrayim did so with their enchantments. And Pharaoh's heart was hardened. Neither did he hearken unto them, as Yahuwah had said. And Pharaoh turned and went into his house, neither did he set his heart to this also. And all the Mitzrayim dug round about the river for water to drink, for they could not drink of the water of the river. And seven days were fulfilled after that Yahuwah had smitten the river. Shemot, Exodus chapter 8 And Yahuwah spoke unto Moshe, Go unto Pharaoh, say unto him, Thus says Yahuwah, Let my people go, that they may serve me. And if you refuse to let them go, behold, I will smite all your borders with frogs. And the river shall bring forth frogs abundantly, which shall go up and come into your house and into your bedchamber, 
and upon your bed, and into the house of your servants, and upon your people, and into the ovens, and into your kneading troughs. And the frogs shall come up, both on you and upon your people, and upon all your servants. And Yahweh spoke unto El Moshe, Say unto El Aharon, Stretch forth your hand with your rod over the streams, over the rivers, and over the ponds, and cause the frogs to come up upon the land of Mitzrayim. And Aharon stretched out his hand over the waters of Mitzrayim, and the frogs came up and covered the land of Mitzrayim. And the magicians did so with their enchantments and brought up the frogs upon the land of Mitzrayim. Then Pharaoh called for Moshe and Aharon and said, Entreat El Yahuwah that he may take away the frogs from me and from my people, and I will let the people go, that they may do sacrifice unto Yahuwah. And Moshe said unto Pharaoh, Glory over me. When shall I entreat for you and for your servants and for your people to destroy the frogs from you and from your houses, that they may remain in the river only? And he said, Tomorrow. And he said, Be it according to your word, that you may know that there is none like unto Yahuwah Eloheinu, and the frogs shall depart from you, and from your houses, and from your servants, and from your people, they shall remain in the river only. And Moshe and Aharon went out from Pharaoh, and Moshe cried unto El Yahuwah because of the frogs which he had brought against Pharaoh. And Yahuwah did according to the word of Moshe, and the frogs died out of the houses, out of the villages, and out of the fields. And they gathered them together upon heaps, and the land stank. But when Pharaoh saw that there was respite, he hardened his heart, and hearkened not unto them as Yahuwah had said. And Yahuwah said unto El Moshe, Say unto El Aharon, Stretch out your rod, and smite the dust of the land, that it may become lice throughout all the land of Mitzrayim. And they did so, for Aharon stretched out his hand with his rod, and smote the dust of the earth, and it became lice in man and in beast. All the dust of the land became lice throughout all the land of Mitzrayim. And the magicians did so with their enchantments to bring forth the lice, but they could not. So there were lice upon man and upon beast. Then the magician said unto Pharaoh, This is the finger of Elohim. And Pharaoh's heart was hardened, and he hearkened not unto them, as Yahuwah had said. And Yahuwah said unto Moshe, Rise up early in the morning, stand before Pharaoh, lo, he comes forth to the water, and say unto him, Thus says Yahuwah, Let my people go, that they may serve me. Else if you will not let my people go, Behold, I will send swarms of flies upon you, and upon your servants, and upon your people, and into your houses, and the houses of the Mitarim shall be full of swarms of flies, and also the ground whereon they are. And I will deliver in that day the land of Goshen, in which my people dwell, that no swarms of flies shall be there. To the end you may know that I am Yahuwah in the midst of the earth and I will put a division between my people and your people. Tomorrow shall this sign be. And Yahuwah did so, and there came a grievous swarm of flies into the house of Pharaoh, and into his servants' houses, and into all the land of Mitzrayim. The land was corrupted by reason of the swarm of flies. And Pharaoh called for Moshe and for Aharon and said, Go ye! Sacrifice to your Elohim in the land. And Moshe said, It is not meet so to do, for we shall sacrifice the abomination of the Mitzrayim to Yahweh Eloheinu. Lo, shall we sacrifice the abomination of the Mitzrayim before their eyes? And will they not stone us? We will go three days' journey into the wilderness and sacrifice to Yahweh Eloheinu as he shall command us. And Pharaoh said, I will let you go, that ye may sacrifice to Yahuwah Elohika in the wilderness, only ye shall not go very far away. Entreat for me. And Moshe said, Behold, I go out from you, and I will entreat El Yahuwah, that the swarms of flies may depart from Pharaoh, 
from his servants and from his people tomorrow. But let not Pharaoh deal deceitfully any more in not letting the people go to sacrifice to Yahuwah. And Moshe went out from Pharaoh and entreated Yahuwah. And Yahuwah did according to the word of Moshe. And he removed the swarms of flies from Pharaoh, from his servants and from his people. There remained not one. And Pharaoh hardened his heart at this time also. Neither would he let the people go. Shemot, Exodus chapter 9. Then Yahuwah said unto El Moshe, Go in unto Pharaoh and tell him, Thus says Yahuwah Elohai of the Ephraim, Let my people go, that they may serve me. For if you refuse to let them go, and will hold them still, behold, the hand of Yahuwah is upon your cattle, which is in the field, upon the horses, upon the asses, upon the camels, upon the oxen, upon the sheep. There shall be a very grievous pestilence, and Yahuwah shall sever between the cattle of Yasharel and the cattle of Mitzrayim, and there shall nothing die of all that is the children's of Yasharel. And Yahuwah appointed a set time, saying, Tomorrow Yahuwah shall do this thing in the land. And Yahuwah did that thing on the morrow, and all the cattle of Mitzrayim died, but of the cattle of the children of Yasharel died not one. And Pharaoh sent, and behold, there was not one of the cattle of Yasharel dead. And the heart of Pharaoh was hardened, and he did not let the people go. And Yahuwah said unto El Moshe, and unto El Ahron, Take to you handfuls of ashes of the furnace, and let Moshe sprinkle it towards the heavens in the sight of Pharaoh. And it shall become small dust in all the land of Mitzrayim, and shall be a boil breaking forth with plains upon man and upon beast throughout all the land of Mitzrayim. And they took the ashes of the furnace and stood before Pharaoh, and Moshe sprinkled it up toward the heavens, and it became a boil breaking forth with blains upon man and upon beast. And the magicians could not stand before Moshe because of the boils, for the boil was upon the magicians and upon all the Mitzrayim. And Yahuwah hardened the heart of Pharaoh, and he hearkened not unto them, as Yahuwah had spoken unto El Moshe. And Yahuwah said unto El Moshe, Rise up early in the morning, and stand before Pharaoh, and say unto him, Thus says Yahuwah Elohai of the Ephraim, Let my people go, that they may serve me. For I will at this time send all my plagues upon your heart, and upon your servants, and upon your people, that you may know that there is none like me in all the earth. For now I will stretch out my hand, that I may smite you and your people with pestilence, and you shall be cut off from the earth. And in very deed for this cause have I raised you up, for to show in you my power, that my name may be declared throughout all the earth. As yet exalt you yourself against my people, that you will not let them go? Behold, tomorrow about this time I will cause it to rain a very grievous hail, such as has not been in Mitzrayim since the foundation thereof even until now. Send therefore now and gather your cattle and all that you have in the field, for upon every man and beast which shall be found in the field and shall not be brought home, the hail shall come down upon them, and they shall die. He that feared the word of Yahweh among the servants of Pharaoh made his servants and his cattle flee into the houses. And he that regarded not the word of Yahweh left his servants and his cattle in the field. And Yahweh said unto El Moshe, Stretch forth your hand towards the heavens, that there may be hail in all the land of Mitzrayim upon man and upon beast, and upon every herb of the field, throughout the land of Mitzrayim. And Moshe stretched forth his rod toward the heavens, and Yahuwah sent thunder and hail, 
and the fire ran along upon the ground, and Yahuwah rained hail upon the land of Mitzrayim. So there was hail, and fire mingled with the hail, very grievous, such as there was none like it in all the land of Mitzrayim since it became a nation. And the hail smote throughout all the land of Mitzrayim, all that was in the field, both man and beast, and the hail smote every herb of the field, and broke every tree of the field. Only in the land of Goshen, where the children of Yashorel were, was there no hail. And Pharaoh sent, and called for Moshe and Aharon, and said unto them, I have sinned this time. Yahuwah is righteous, and I and my people are wicked. Entreat El Yahuwah, for it is enough that there be no more mighty thunderings and hail, for I will let you go. Ye shall stay no longer. And Moshe said unto him, As soon as I am gone out of the city, I will spread abroad my hands unto El Yahuwah, and the thunder shall cease, neither shall there be any more hail, that you may know how that the earth is Yahuwah's. But as for you and your servants, I know that you will not fear Yahuwah Elohim. And the flax and the barley was smitten, for the barley was in the ear, and the flax was bold. But the wheat and the rye were not smitten, for they were not grown up. And Moshe went out of the city from Pharaoh, and spread abroad his hands unto El Yahuwah, and the thunders and the hail ceased, and the rain was not poured upon the earth. And when Pharaoh saw that the rain and the hail and the thunders were ceased, he sinned yet more, and hardened his heart, he and his servants. And the heart of Pharaoh was hardened, neither would he let the children of Yashrael go, as Yahuwah had spoken by Moshe.